Alyona reacted with obscenity to Semenenko's fall and replied to the former choreographer with a photo with a beer mug. A real rebel. Alyona Kosternaya is the main rebel of Russian figure skating. The athlete has repeatedly excited the audience with bold antics. She was audaciously indignant at the judging, ate a bouquet at the award ceremony, and even published a photo with a mug of beer to answer the former choreographer. Of course, every time Kosternaya's actions caused a violent reaction and even scandals, for which she had to pay. But this is Alina's nature. She does not want to pretend and hide her bright personality. Being like everyone else is too boring for her, and she does not intend to adapt to generally accepted norms. We recall the most daring antics of an eccentric figure skater. At the Grand Prix stage in France in 2019, Alina took the lead after a short program. She easily beat the reigning world champion Alina Zajitova, but instead of joy, she was disappointed. And all because she didn't like the grades. At that tournament, she performed the triple axel for the first time in the short program, but received less for rental than at the start in Finland, where Dupel jumped. The girl did not hide her discontent. How? And why did I strain myself? Kosternaya said when she saw the grades. It turned out that she was straining for 76.55 points, a decent result, but Alina expected more. The judges reduced her points for an under twist on a trixel and an obscure edge on a triple lutz. She didn't know about it at kiss and edge yet, but in any case, to openly express dissatisfaction with the refereeing is a real rebellion. At the awarding of the medalists in the final of the 2019 Grand Prix, the organizers presented Kosternaya, Trusova, and Sherbakova with original bouquets in which chocolate was hidden under the guise of roses. Realizing that the bouquet was edible, Alyona did not lose her head and immediately tasted the delicacy. I bit off a chocolate rose right on the pedestal until the sweet gift was confiscated by the trainers. The figure skater's trick pleased her neighbors on the podium, and Trusova and Sherbakova also tried chocolate bouquets. But not as confident as Alyona. Only she could dare to do such a thing first. Alyona Kosternaya's transition from Tutbirds to Plashenko turned out to be very loud and as incomprehensible as possible. The European champion almost ran away from the training camp in Novogorsk due to disagreements with the coaches. And soon she appeared in the Angels of Plashenko, where Alexandra Trusova also moved before that. At the same time, Alina has already managed to put programs for the new season and her school change took place outside the transition window. The figure skater also left the Angels unexpectedly. While Plashenko assured that his pupil was training, she was negotiating in the crystal. Tutbirds agreed to take her not immediately, but with the condition of a probationary period. But that didn't stop the girl. As well as unclosed obligations under the contract with the Plashenko Academy. In the pre-Olympic season, Kosternaya did not shine with a ringing form, but her skates shone. Literally. The figure skater decorated them with stones. She was inspired to do this by Evgenia Medvedeva, who also decorated skates in this way at one time. This is my third pair of skates, and the third pair of skates I'm sitting and gluing. I once saw this from Genya Medvedeva. I enjoyed it. And I thought, why not do it? No one did, except Genya. Kosternaya shared with Channel 1 after the Russian Cup stage in Kazan. Alyona likes to be creative and with makeup at competitions. In the Olympic season, she surprised everyone with makeup with huge gold and blue sequins on her face, resembling freckles. With them, she skated an arbitrary program under Billie Eilish. In less than a year, Kosternaya managed to dye her hair pink, purple, return to its natural color, and then try red and even get a red mane, which not everyone appreciated. However, Alyona did not pass with a red mop for long. Now she is blonde with long hair. But will this hairstyle stay with her by the start of the new season? You'll never guess with Alyona. But if Alina's hair changes easily, then tattoos are stuffed with iron. She got the first one during the off-season in 2020, she stuffed an inscription on her hand in Latin, follow your heart. Later, she got two more tattoos, an image of a fox over her ear, and the inscription lovely on her collarbone. Alyona told about the reasons that prompted her to get tattoos in the evening Ergen program. Life is finished. 
Somehow I've been wanting to make some small one for a very long time, then it started to grow. Try it once, and you won't stop. Well, that's it, it's a nightmare, Kosternaya admitted. After the terrible fall of Evgeny Semenenko at the Plushenko show in St. Petersburg, Alyona spoke very emotionally about it in one of the chats in Telegram. Not without a mat. I urge not to bury him Semenenko in advance. As a person who had three severe concussions, that I was in the hospital for two weeks, I want to say that after this, everything is fine with my head. Well, fucked up, but this is no longer treated, excuse me, Kosternaya said. It was assumed that a limited circle of people would see the video with Alyona's emotional speech, but it got on the internet for everyone to see. The video was posted for the people with whom I communicate, and we can all express our thoughts in a colorful way in a familiar environment. I'm sorry that it got on public display, given the huge amount of obscene language there. It's a pity that I believed and trusted people who eventually do this, Kosternaya explained. Alyona found an original way to respond to the criticism of the choreographer of the Tutbridge group Alexei Zheleznyakov. In an interview, the specialist said that she needs to work, not turn her tail. Instead of responding statements, the girl posted a fresh photo from a training session in CSKA in her social networks. Alyona settled down on the ice, laying a towel on it, and took a beer mug. The mug was not empty, but with a yellow-brown drink. In his Dubai, as usual, I'm not doing anything, Kosternaya signed the picture. One of Alina's friends wrote in the comments, you just need a drink, to which Alyona quoted Zheleznyakov, no, I just need to twist my tail, whoosh, whoosh.